What's up? This is Chris from Electrofame. So today I want to review with you the Star C1000, which is a smartphone, so Android 4.4, 5.5 inch, and uh, it looks a lot like the Elephant P2000 for the people who knows already this uh, this smartphone and this brand. So this one has actually the same like finger scanner and a uh, intelligent wake up gesture. So let's have a look first. So what's going on inside? So we have the smartphone itself. We'll get back to it very shortly. So otherwise, inside of the box, we have actually one case, which is a a simple case, but you can even also use it. To to watch movie for example or for a display so this is uh, soft as you can see so this is if for this one here you will have to take off the back cover of the original phone and to just stick it on it and that's it so this is for free also we have a USB charger as you see here USB so this is an EU plug, but we can provide you with a UK or US plug. You just have to tell us when you check out on our website at electrofame.com. Uh, this is a USB uh, cable. We also have a pair of earphones here with control talk, as we see here. And we also have actually two batteries. So we will see that the ball is same. So this is 3200 mAh and the other one we see that this is exactly the same 3200 mAh and last but not least smartphone instructions so the usual manual are in English so no problem at all uh, however if you still have some troubles feel free to contact us and we will help you sort it out as soon as possible and um, just the last uh, remark is about the, the box which is very tough no problem at all so for the shipping you don't have to worry about it, the phone will be well protected so otherwise let's have a look at the smartphone itself this is why we're here actually so so this is the star c1000 so before going any further so the the weight of the phone is uh, 158 grams with battery of 3200 mAh inside dimensions are actually 155 uh, millimeters by 77 millimeters and its thickness of 8 millimeters so that's it uh, we can have a look right away here what's going on so we have a front camera of 5 megapixels uh, here we have the sensors so the speaker we have actually LED notification too uh, and here on the bottom we have so the back, home and menu as you can see the, the red red buttons on the bottom we have nothing except the microphone on the side here we have the volume button and here on the other side we have the power button and on the top we do have the 3.5mm jack and also the USB on the back we have so the 8 megapixels camera with flash and autofocus and here this little I don't know how to say but little stuff in here which is actually the finger scanner so we will see how to use it and if it if it really performs well or not so we'll have a surprise later and this is the, um, the speaker here so this is like a well gripped uh, back so you can put it actually on the, on the table and it's not moving so much so if we open the back just to check it out so here we see that this is the C1000 what do we have in here we have actually two sim cards so one normal sim card and one micro sim card and one SD card up to 32 gigabytes so this is what you get with this smartphone and here we have like a, a better view of the compound with the camera and the finger scanner and here is the speaker so this is it uh, basically for um, for the design and the appearance so I repeat this is a 5.5 inches so TFT QHD resolution of 960 by 540 so now let's let's get started and uh, and see what's going on inside we can just turn it on 
So this is also called, uh, here you see the Saison C1000, but actually this is a Star C1000 as usual, a lot of uh, smartphones have different names on the internet. Um, so here this is Android 4.4.2 as I told you before and uh, if we have here on the left uh, on the home and the menu but uh, menu touch button we have actually access right away to the settings widgets and wallpapers and the recent application um, here on the toggles we have access to owner percentage of the battery settings wi-fi bluetooth location airplane mode data connection data usage audio profiles if you want your phone to be silent the brightness is already set up to the maximum here for this review um, we see here otherwise we have the auto rotation and the cast screen if you want to project this screen on on your computer for example so that's it and um Otherwise, let's have a look uh, right away at the settings. So we see here we have the SIM management because we have two SIM cards. So I repeat one normal SIM card, which is WCDMA and one other SIM card, micro SIM card, which is GSM. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flash alert uh, for some notifications. Uh, data usage more so you can have the airplane mode, default SMS during and portable hotspot, VPN if you want to hide the connection, um, audio profiles if you want to change actually the, um, the the modes on it, if you want to be silent or not, display, here you have access to actually the lock screen, brightness, auto rotation, sleep, whatsoever, a lot of different settings, um, sorry. On the storage, I didn't say anything about it yet, but this is a 1 gigabyte of RAM and 8 gigabytes uh, of internal memory. We will check it out in an Antutu benchmark. The battery I already said it, this is a 3200 mAh. Um, the JCR sensing, what is going on? So here we see we have the JCR sensing only in gallery, music and camera, not on the home launcher. So we'll check it out later. Apps, location for the GPS, so this is set up to high accuracy, the best. Uh, language and inputs, so what do we have in here? So feel free to check out the list, which is pretty long. So we'll probably find yours in it. That's it. So then, backup result, finger scanner, so as I told you before, the finger scanner in here, so we'll get back to it very shortly. Uh, Google account, so you have, you can actually put your Google account inside, so you have the Play Store too, we'll check it. Uh, Off-screen gesture, so this is like the intelligent wake up uh, uh, feature, so we'll check it out. Date time, notification light, so here we see that you can actually customize everything, um, which is very nice. Uh, schedule power on and off, accessibility printing, developer options and about phone. You see this is Android 4.4. No problem on it. Alright. So for the developer options, for the people who want to have access to more functions or features or feel more confident with the phones, this is what you will get. Just to show you quickly what's going on. Um, now, let's have a look actually at the, the two special features that this phone uh, has. So let's start by actually the off-screen gestures. So wh what do you mean by off-screen off gestures? So basically, here, let's go to more gestures right away. So we have here uh, E, M, O, W, up arrow, left arrow, right arrow. What, what does that mean exactly? So here we see that we have the M, if we click on M, I already put something. M sounds like, for example, music. So this is why I already set it up before, but we can set up again. So you can set up a lot of different applications by a letter. So here we set up music. So it's activated, it's in blue. So now we just come back, we just make the phone sleep, and we just draw M on it. And it is recognizing the M and launching the music right away which is very interesting if you want to have access to, uh, to a lot of different things right away so if we go back inside just to show you what's going on so here we can see that you can have the double tap if you want uh, the swipe up so we can actually 
You see, when the screen is off, launch camera by gesture, launch the flashlight, control the music, so you can do a lot of things. We can do it again, for example. So we turn off and we just double tap up right away. We have access. If we swipe up, it's launching right away the home. So you, you can customize and have access to a lot of different things. Uh, so it makes it very easy to, to have a quick access to a lot of different features. So also, what is good is like we have the finger scanner. Okay, a lot of phones have the finger scanner, but most of the time it doesn't work. So let's try it actually uh, on this smartphone. So if we go on it, we see that we have use finger screen recognition, blah, blah, blah. Saying a lot of things. So fingerprint manager. So here, if we go on it, they say to swipe it so we go on it and you just see up oh, one two oh sorry You really have to, to make your finger flat, so it's not that easy sometimes. Okay, so this is set up. I usually take less time, I don't know why. So we set up a password just in case uh, you enter three times the wrong finger. So you continue. Okay. We just set up. Okay, basic password. Enable, you say yes. So fingerprint lock. So we can see we have the one set up the. So then. We just make the phone sleep again and we just turn it on and you see here they say you have actually to swipe uh, your finger so recognized okay you you could tell me Ed, this is normal you know like maybe it will work every time so let's try with the other, other hand so we do the same Failed to recognize. I try again. Failed to recognize. So here you see maximum attempts reach enter alternative passwords. So you can still put your passwords. You're done. And you can still access uh, your smartphone. So I just try my other hand, but believe me, you know, we have tried with other people in here at Electrofame and it's really working well. And so it's, it's really safe and uh, you, can, you can be sure it's working well. So basically that's it for the special features of this smartphone. And uh, now let's have a look at all the specifications, camera, video, sound and uh, gaming performances. So for that we can just start right away by Antutu Benchmark. So Antutu Benchmark is, uh, as I say here, a benchmark of course. So it allows you to test the performances of your smartphone and to get a score out of it. So here what's going on, we have a score of 17,000, yeah, around about 17,000, so 16,569, um, which is an average score for um, for a smartphone nowadays. Uh, let's have a look why actually it is like that. So we all only have actually the, the MediaTek MT65A2, uh, quad core processor clock and 1.3 gigahertz, um, resolution of screen which is like 960 by 540, uh, 13 megapixels in the back for the camera, um, root access no, so we'll check it later, so 1 gigabyte of RAM and 8 gigabytes total of internal memory, so here you see that it doesn't fit totally because we have actually uh, installed a lot of different applications on it. Then we have, uh, so quad core processor I already said it, Mali 400 MP for the graphic processor, 240 dpi for the density, 
uh, 30 megapixels in the back, 8 megapixels on the front, we'll get back to it very shortly, uh, Android 4.4.2, no NFC supported Wi-Fi, and for the sensors, we only have actually the direction sensor, acceleration light, e-compass, and proximity sensor. So this is it basically for the specifications. So now let's go back and let's have a look, for example, at the root access. So if we verify, sorry, this device doesn't have proper root access. So if you want to change the Android version on it, you will first have to run the smartphones, hence you will void the warranty. Please bear that in mind. So uh, then we have the multi-touch. So for the multi-touch, if we put all fingers on it, we see this is a five-touch capacitive screen. So I didn't say before, this is a TFT 5.5 inches QHD screen, resolution of 960 by 540, I repeat. So, let's go back, and now let's have a look actually at the GPS test. So we already have 16 view, 16 satellites, sorry. So we see I'm inside of the house and still working very well. So 44 feet accuracy is still decreasing a lot. So 30, 29, 20 feet, 17 feet accuracy, which is very good, 15. So we have 12 feet accuracy for the, for the GPS, which is very good uh, because I'm inside of the house. So it's a good performance even compared to, uh, to the best smartphones on this market. So it's still decreasing a bit. So you don't have to worry about for the GPS, you will have good performances for it. So that's it basically for, uh, for all the, the extra features and uh, the normal features, let's say, on it. So now let's have a look actually at the, the video and sound performances. For that, we can also try the OTG because this smartphone is considered like being OTG. So this is an OTG stick. So we just put it on it. So we see it's lighting up, so it's working. And here we have preparing external USB storage ready. So that's it. Now we can. Actually, actually, we didn't have a look first at the all the applications we have on the smartphone by default. But we have here the browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, downloads, file manager, flashlight, FM radio on it, gallery, Gmail, like Google, um, messaging, maps, Play Store, so you can download all your favorite applications without trouble, uh, videos, voice search, sound recorder, movie studio, so a lot of different things. So you will pretty much enjoy all this application by default, so external USB, so you can see we have access, so we can have a look right away to it, and we can launch this video, we turn up the sound to the maximum, check auto rotation, is working, no problem, so regarding the sound, it's not too bad, it's pretty powerful, and the balance between the troubles and the bass is correct, So watching movies on this cheap smartphone will not be a trouble at all. And the 5.5 inch screen is very really large and will be very nice to watch movies on it and different videos. The speaker is just large enough. It would be maybe nice to have a bit better but we cannot have better for the price for sure. And it's still large enough. And the colors are very bright and it's very nice. So that was just to show you what's going on, that you can actually um, play videos on it without any troubles. So now let's go back and actually let's try the, the gaming performances. So for that we have been downloading Aspal 8, which is uh, one of well, a good game available on the Play Store for free. And um, usually it requires quite a lot of resources. So let's try it on this smartphone then. So we can play.
So you see this is responsive, no problem. And this is very smooth, so you can play the latest game without any problem. So you don't have to worry about it, you will be able to play a lot of games on these smartphones without problem. As you see it's very smooth. So it's not lagging at all. So we can just go back. That was just to show you. So gaming performances are more than correct on it. So you can play a lot of different things. This is one of the latest games. So it gives you just like a shot out of it. So now let's have a look actually at the, uh, the camera itself. Because I didn't talk so much about it. So the front camera is actually 8 megapixels so you can make good selfies out of it and then the back camera is actually uh, 8 megapixels extrapolated to 13 megapixels but let's have a look at what what can be done with that so here we can take a quick picture of this little toy so the camera oh sorry I was just here so here we can just quickly have a look at it So just to show you what's going on, we can actually, here we have the HDR mode too. So we can take a picture in HDR. Takes a bit more time. So we also have actually a lot of different features. So we can go to the settings. So here, so the GPS, exposure, color effects, um, white balance, anti-flicker, so there's a lot of different features. For the picture, we have the zero shutter delay, face detection, HDR here, so we can actually take off the HDR and we will see much more the other settings. So this is it, exposure, color effects, scene mode, so we see here we can actually set up a lot of different things, free effects on it. Um, the white balance, the same, you can set up a lot of things, image property, sorry, anti-flicker, so for the camera itself, zero shutter delay, face detection, smile shot, SDR, uh, self timer, continuous shots, so you can shot like a lot of things at the same time, if you know what I mean, uh, so we can even try it now later on, so you can set up a lot of shots at the same time. Picture size, so 13 megapixels, so you can choose whatever you want, and preview size, and for the video, here we have the EIS, which is very nice for stabilization, and audio mode, time lapse, video quality, so you can set up a lot of different things. So if we go back to it, we can see, oh, sorry, we can see that actually you can take a lot of different pictures at the same time. So if we go to the gallery, you see that this is taking all the pictures we took. Which is quite nice if you want to, to take on the go a lot of different things. So, for the camera, we can see here that we have like the 
the, all the shots, like 14 shots I just took. So it's just showing you what's going on. And here we have the, the other pictures. So we see that the details are very nice. So we have a low resolution on this screen. So as you can see, you have access to a lot of good things. So this was uh, the HDR. Oh, not this one, sorry, the previous one. So we see that it looks actually very nice. You can zoom very easily on it, and the details are very nice. So basically, this is what you get for uh, for the camera, and I forgot to say that you also have the panorama on it, the face beauty and the uh, smile detection I showed you before. So basically this is it for uh, for the Star Season um, C1000 available in white or in black. So this is a black version of course. So we also have a repeat so this um, this uh, cover case which is very nice and will well protect your phone with two batteries. So this is what you get, so I repeat, uh, quad core processor 1.3 GHz, MT6582, 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal memory, Android 4.4, 5 MP camera on the front, 8 MP on the back, we have the finger scanner here which is working very well, like the Elephant P2000. Um, we also have the intelligent wake up gesture, if you remember, I just show you what was it. So the M, for example, here, and you can right away have access. So this is it. So it's all working very well, and battery of 3,200 mAh and OTG on it. So this is what you get for the Star C1000. So if you have uh, any question or comment, please feel free to, to leave one below this video and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, if you want to purchase this smartphone, uh, you can just go on our website at www.electrofame.com or you can click on the top left corner of this video and we, it will redirect you right away to our website. And otherwise, until then, I hope you enjoy it and see you later for the next one then. Bye bye!